Brian is somebody everybody should know. He's just witty and funny and likes to tell a lot of jokes, a lot of dad jokes. I used to bite my nails, but thanks to ALS, I don't anymore. <laughs> my name is Brian Jensen. I was born and raised on the outskirts of New Orleans. I married my amazing wife in 2003. We have created a beautiful family of seven. Around 2019, Brian started having some issues with his ankle. I was able to get him an appointment with a doctor and he was like, I hate to tell you, but this is ALS. We were just, we were definitely not ready. Like my heart hurt for him being so caught off guard. For those people who haven't experienced ALS, you don't wish it on your worst enemy. It's a neurodegenerative disease that essentially stops sending uh, signals from your brain to the rest of your body to the point where you lose your ability to use your arms or your legs, uh, your voice. My voice was my superpower. I am a conversationalist, so my voice weakened over a year's time and the whole year was filled with sorrow. We might joke like, oh, I hate the sound of my own voice. But in reality, your voice is your personality. It creates an actual emotional auditory event in the brain of your loved one. My voice was the scariest thing to lose, more than eating and even breathing, because I knew there were fixes for those things. But my voice, how would I live in a world where my kids wouldn't be able to hear me say, I love you? Over the course of somebody's progression, one thing that they can do to be proactive is preserving their voice. One of the challenges with voice banking in and of itself, because it creates that computerized version of their voice, is that it doesn't have a lot of emotion and tone. So with what Microsoft is doing, their voice banking technology really gives someone back that intonation and a little bit more of their personality. There's just something intimate about hearing his voice, his little quirks. I'm just excited to really just hear him. Any technology that can get my voice as close to normal, well, that is a gift not just to me, but to my whole family. So, Brian, today we're gonna play like a newer version of your voice. And I'm hoping when you hear this, and when you hear this, it's gonna remind you a little bit more of what he sounded like beforehand. So you just choose any phrase and then I'll play it on here as well. Hey, beautiful people. I am so happy to be with all of you. All right, I'm gonna type it out. Hey, beautiful people. I am so happy to be with all of you. Dang. Hey, Christy, I love you. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that really. Like, that's really crazy. <laughs> the biggest opportunities when it comes to emerging technologies is the gap that I can fill, not just here for people with ALS, but you think about anybody whose speech is affected. AI has the ability to increase communication, increase independence. It's the next wave for accessibility. Here at Team Gleason, we have a phrase, no white flags. From my experience working with individuals living with this disease, that really means that they will not give up who they are. I am completely in awe and amazed by this voice. I think this sounds just like me and I am overwhelmed with joy that my family gets to experience this part of me. In many ways, I feel like I am back. 